Little Man begins as a prisoner with the nickname Babyface whose sentence has ended and is about to be released from prison. The ex-convict was named Calvin Sims. Calvin is a diamond specialist robber. Uniquely, Calvin has a petite body like a toddler, which allows him to carry out his actions more freely. Once out of prison, Calvin was picked up by his colleague named Percy. Fresh out of prison, Percy even offers Calvin a job stealing diamonds at a jewelry store. Calvin then refuses and scolds Percy. He had just been released and didn't want to be in prison anymore, but Percy managed to convince him for a lucrative fee. Finally, Calvin and Percy devised a plan to rob the jewelry store they were targeting. Percy entered the jewelry store carrying a large bag with Calvin in it. Afterward, Percy tried to distract a store employee while Calvin crept toward their target's diamond showcase. Calvin managed to break into the bottom of the display case and retrieve the diamond, but just as he was about to leave, a dog suddenly entered his bag. Calvin and the dog wrestled in the bag, which caused a commotion and drew people's attention to Percy, who was carrying the bag. Unfortunately, a shop employee realized that the diamond was missing and immediately shouted for security. Percy and Calvin fled the jewelry store and got into the car, but the car still didn't move from its place, and Percy had pressed as hard as he could on the gas pedal. After checking, it turned out that their tires were locked because they parked carelessly. After running quite a distance, Percy suddenly had a cramp in his back. The two of them went into a convenience store to hide. Calvin, who panicked because a police officer entered the convenience store, then hid the diamond in the bag of a nearby woman. A cop just rebuked Percy and said he wasn't the criminal they were looking for. Calvin and Percy were relieved that they had managed to escape the police. But on the other hand, they lost the diamond because the woman had already left the shop and got into a car. They then chased the woman and followed her in a taxi. They arrived at the residence of a couple named Daryl and Vanessa. Calvin climbs up the house window and overhears that Daryl and Vanessa don't have children, despite being married for quite some time. The couple desperately wanted a child to complete the happiness of their household. Then a ridiculous idea popped into Percy's mind. He orders Calvin to disguise himself as a baby his parents dumped in front of Daryl and Vanessa's house. They then can retrieve the diamond from Vanessa's bag without arousing suspicion. Calvin agreed because he thought he would get the diamond that night and immediately left Daryl and Vanessa's house. The plan begins. Percy put the bassinet at Daryl's house and rang the bell, then left. Daryl opened the door and looked surprised to see a baby boy lying in front of his house. Daryl and his wife brought the poor baby into the house. They did not suspect at all that the tiny baby was actually a grown man. Daryl and Vanessa want to take it to child services, but the office is closed on the weekend. Hearing this, Calvin pretended to be sick so that the husband and wife would not take Calvin to the police station. Daryl and Vanessa finally took care of Calvin for a while. The next day, Daryl and Vanessa took Calvin to the doctor. Upon examination, it turned out that Calvin had many scars and a tattoo on his arm. The doctor then reported it to the authorities. The police came, trying to take Calvin away. But then, Calvin calls Vanessa Mama and asks to be carried. Vanessa, who was distraught, finally embraced Calvin in her arms and returned to care for Calvin. Elsewhere, Percy is facing his boss named Walken. His boss was very upset that Percy had lost his diamond. Walken then gave Percy one more chance to bring him the diamond in 24 hours. Calvin's presence invites the suspicion of Pops, Vanessa's father, who also lives at Daryl's house. Pops thinks Calvin is a bad person, but Calvin doesn't care. The important thing is that Daryl and Vanessa love him very much. Afterward, neighbors visited Daryl's house after hearing the couple had finally had a child. Everyone was shocked to see Calvin's strange appearance, but they remained kind and accepted Calvin in their neighborhood. Calvin is then smitten with neighbor Vanessa who is sexy. Calvin begged to be carried and wanted to suckle the woman. The woman seemed irritated by Calvin's funny antics, but then she handed Calvin over to a middle-aged woman, who was famous as a nurse for babies in their housing complex. After a brief visit, the neighbors said goodbye to the host. Not to forget, they also congratulated Daryl and Vanessa. Bath time arrived, Vanessa takes off all of Calvin's clothes except for the diaper. The woman passionately kissed Calvin's tiny belly, but Calvin was pleased. Vanessa takes Calvin to the tub. He thought that Vanessa would bathe him, but it turned out to be Daryl. After bathing and getting dressed, Daryl carried Calvin into the crib and put him to sleep. Calvin plans to retrieve the diamond while Daryl and Vanessa are asleep, but unexpectedly, he fell asleep too. Calvin wakes up in the middle of the night. He rushed out of bed and took the diamond. The diamond was in hand, and Calvin was about to call Percy. But then, Pops caught him red-handed and pointed a gun at Calvin's head. At the same time, Daryl appeared, who turned on the light. He was surprised to see the action of the father-in-law, who pointed a gun at a tiny baby. Daryl nags Pops, then carries Calvin back to his room. The next morning, Vanessa turns on the television and forces Calvin to watch a children's show while cooking breakfast. 
Pops changed the television channel to a news headline program that reported a robbery case in a jewelry store. The authorities have succeeded in identifying the perpetrator of the robbery, none other than Calvin. Panicked and afraid that his disguise will be exposed, Calvin acts like a fussy baby to attract Vanessa's attention, so she changes the television channel. Calvin's wish was fulfilled. Pops then read the newspaper because now he can't watch the news on television. Calvin then pranks the old man for complicating his plans. Vanessa, who has to go to work, asks Daryl to look after Calvin. Calvin took advantage of the opportunity to take the diamond and run away from there. Calvin had made Daryl faint, but Vanessa rushed over and woke her husband up. Daryl then invites Calvin to play in the park. There Calvin meets Percy, who asks for the diamond. Calvin said the diamond was in one of the baby bags on a park bench. Percy rushed to get it, but the mothers caught his actions and shouted at him. When Percy is trying to escape the pursuit of the mothers, Calvin then steals Daryl's car and speeds down the street. Daryl panics, thinking Calvin is being kidnapped. He then stopped a passing van and asked for help. They stepped on the gas, chasing Calvin, who was reckless through the traffic. His car tire burst, lost control, and crashed into water barrels on the side of the road. Calvin immediately moved to the passenger seat as soon as the police arrived. Everyone thought Calvin was really kidnapped and the kidnapper had run away. Elsewhere, Percy finally manages to steal a baby bag and bring it to Walken. After repeated inspections, there was not a single diamond in the bag. Percy realized that he had stolen the wrong bag. Walken threatened him to hand over the diamond immediately, or Percy's life was at stake. On another occasion, Daryl took Calvin to watch a football game with a friend. Calvin tries to take the diamond from the bag, but Daryl found out. Calvin immediately put the diamond in his mouth and swallowed it. Daryl and Calvin finally arrive home. Calvin fell asleep after falling up and down through all the obstacles but never got the diamond. Daryl and Vanessa watched Calvin sleeping in his bed. Seeing Calvin sleeping peacefully, both of them felt touched. Daryl then took the initiative to throw a birthday party for Calvin because he had been having a hard time over the last few days. Vanessa welcomes Daryl's plan and thinks adoption is a good idea. The birthday celebration has arrived. Daryl and Vanessa throw a festive birthday party for Calvin. They have fun at the party, and Calvin gets so caught up in his happiness that he forgets his mission. Calvin even burst into tears when Daryl and Vanessa brought him a birthday cake, complete with candles. It happened to be Calvin's birthday. He was also very happy because he celebrated his birthday with great joy for the first time in his life. After the party is over, Percy comes and claims to be Calvin's father and intends to take his son back. But Daryl threw him out because he had abandoned Calvin. The scene switches when Calvin is sipping a drink from a bottle. It turned out that the bottle was a laxative, and he immediately had a stomachache. Vanessa took Calvin to the toilet. She even found the diamond that Calvin had swallowed and reported it to her husband. They then thought of celebrating the moment by having dinner outside. That night, Vanessa and Daryl go on a date and leave Calvin to Pops. The old man gave a sly grin. Pops already knew that Calvin was a wanted diamond thief and tried to strangle him. But Vanessa and Daryl arrive just in time before Pops hurts Calvin. Pops repeatedly defended himself by saying that Calvin was a fugitive from the police. But Daryl and Vanessa don't believe him. Vanessa and her husband think Pops is too senile, then send him to a nursing home. Shortly after that, Calvin finally managed to escape with the diamond. After seeing this fact, Daryl and Vanessa realized that Pops' words had been true. Calvin had deceived them. Daryl also intends to call the police, and Vanessa picks up her father again. Percy was so happy that they finally got the diamond, and Walken wasn't going to kill him. Percy then slipped. He said that Walken was on his way to Daryl's house. Calvin scolds Percy because his stupidity will only bring havoc to innocent people. Calvin then kicks Percy out of the car and turns around, returning to Daryl's house to save him. Arriving there, Walken is threatening Daryl. Walken, who doesn't know Calvin's real identity, thinks Daryl is Calvin. Walken's men then took Calvin to his room. But with Calvin's witty maneuvers, he finally managed to incapacitate all of Walken's men and detained him until the police arrived and arrested Walken's gang. Calvin then hands over the diamond to the police, and Daryl is very grateful to Calvin for choosing to return home to save his life. Calvin said goodbye to Daryl. Before leaving, he thanks Daryl for taking care of him even though he's not a baby. He tells him that he will be a great father one day. When Calvin walked away, Calvin began to cry hysterically, realizing that he would miss Daryl and Vanessa, who had been so good to him. Daryl then decides to let Calvin stay at his house. Make sure you subscribe to short movies and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this.